Hey, this is Dan from DIY, and today we're going to be showing how to install this exterior light on the side of our house. The side of our home didn't have any light, and it got pretty dark during the winter. We tried putting solar-powered garden lights by the path, but that didn't work very well. We finally decided to install an exterior light to the side of the house. We want the light base to match with the current design. We used a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood and cut it to the same size as the rest of the light bases on the table saw. We added the chamfer to the edge to keep the design the same. We then marked and drilled a half inch hole in the plywood to accept the lead from the light. After that, we primed and painted the panel to match the outer walls. From there, it was a simple process of installing the light. This will be slightly different for each type of light fixture, so we'll have this one linked in the description. We needed to install some aluminum flashing before we could install the light. We didn't have any of the real stuff though, so we installed an aluminum tape temporarily until we got some. Once the panel was ready, we measured the position of the light in respect to the exterior vent and made a hole on the inside using a hole saw. We ran an electrical wire from the outlet just below to power this light. We unscrewed the outlet and ran the wire to the newly created junction box with some fish tape. To do this, first we fed the wire up the wall to the cutout and taped the electrical wire to it afterwards. After that, we could pull the wire from above. From here, we finished drilling the hole with a quarter inch drill bit. After that, we could add our junction box. We originally were planning to install a circular box, hence the circle cutout. However, after we cut it, we realized it wouldn't fit because of a nearby gas line running to the water heater. Instead, we had to settle for this. We then went back outside to install the light. We fed the lead through the quarter inch hole, then lifted up the siding above it and slid the flashing in. To secure the light, we screwed the plate to the wall. We then went back inside to wire everything up. The lead coming from the light connected up to one end of the wire that we ran. The other end of the wire daisy chained to the outlet below.
After we wired everything up, we screwed the covers back onto the outlet and went outside to test the light. We could then paint over all the screws and flashing to give a professional look. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one.